Bitcoin is right now crashing towards the downside and to be honest I am absolutely loving it because quite literally I've shorted the exact Bitcoin top over here. I'm right now over 30k in a profit in my Bitcoin short position and I have already taken out 8.2k. So that is absolutely lovely. Now the real question is going to be when is this Bitcoin dip going to be over? Because yes, we do actually want to take advantage of this current Bitcoin crash towards the downside. We do actually want to be buying the dip, but when exactly is going to be a good point? Well, I am going to be telling you that exactly. So make sure to smash up that like button. Let's see if we can once again smash it back above the 80 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. And without any further ado, Let's have a look into what's that imminent short term because yes, in the short term, Bitcoin is absolutely crashing towards the downside. Yesterday, we actually filled our Bitcoin CME gap and yes, we did see a slight little bounce towards the upside, but right away today, we are once again crashing towards the downside. But well, Bitcoin is basically crashing exponentially towards the downside. We can be seeing that every single crash towards the downside is getting bigger and bigger. So this this is probably one of the most dangerous times to be longing Bitcoin because you can easily get wiped out, but also at the same time. In my personal experience of trading the Bitcoin market profitably for over about four years now, what I've seen is that every single time we actually create an exponential rally towards the downside, well, that is most of the times going to be a moment where we are going to be finding ourselves close towards that bottom. So yeah, this is going to be probably one of the worst times, maybe one of the most painful times for most of the Bitcoin traders, but definitely that is indicating that we are getting close towards that bottom in the short term. Now, definitely, I do think that Bitcoin is still looking quite weak and we can still get a little bit more of a push towards the downside. But in my opinion, if we are going to be having a look in towards our next level of support, it is not that far away. We are only away with about 2% from our next level of support, which is going to be coming in at about the 38 2k level i'm going to be eyeing that level coming from this previous cluster of resistance and also from of this previous drop off point whenever we lost that level of support well that was the moment where we crashed towards the downside in the previous bear market so definitely this level of support is going to be very important for bitcoin and whenever we are going to be reaching that level we can be maybe seeing a huge wick being created and then bounce off towards the upside whenever we are going to be breaking this exponential downturn rally well that is going to be the moment where i think we are going to be finding ourselves a larger bounce but before having a look into what's the actual most important bottoming signal in a minute right there yes guys if we are going to be breaking our exponential downtrend rally well then i definitely do think we can be seeing a larger bounce what you have to understand is that bitcoin has basically been crashing with about 20 percent towards the downside in a matter of one one and a half weeks maybe even almost two weeks but bitcoin doesn't just go up in a straight line and it also doesn't just go down in a straight line we always tend to see market moves in waves and most definitely anytime soon we are going to be seeing some kind of a relief rally and then maybe we are going to be seeing another crash towards the downside all right and i think we are going to be seeing this relief rally and maybe a little bit of a bounce whenever we are going to be breaking this exponential structure towards the downside Side, then we are going to be seeing this bounce and potentially it would be a very good opportunity to maybe even potentially long if we are as well at the same time going to be seeing this support level going to be getting reached now for the larger trend do keep in mind that i do not think this is going to be the ultimate bottom i only think that this is going to be a little bit of a relief rally before in the end of the day actually had it even more towards the downside but when it's the actual real bottom I'm going to be coming in for Bitcoin. Well, for that, I'm going to be having a look into what's the Bitcoin funding rates because you can be seeing that every single time whenever these funding rates actually dipped into what's negative territory and this basically means that the market is full of bitcoin shorts whenever the majority of the market is actually shorting the market well that is when the bitcoin funding rates dip into what's negative territory and you can be seeing that every single time 
whenever we dip into its negative territory, well, we have seen that short term bottom. So yeah, we have also seen that exactly over here, whenever we saw negative funding rates, well, that was when the Bitcoin bottom was reached. And once again, we are still pretty high in my opinion. But whenever these Bitcoin funding rates will be dipping in negative territory, well, that is when I think we are going to be getting very close towards our actual Bitcoin bottom. So yeah, I am just going to be having a look into the Bitcoin funding rates and until that moment, I'm just going to be keeping my Bitcoin short position open. If we are not going to be flipping negative in the Bitcoin funding rates, I see no actual reason why I should be closing my Bitcoin short position. Now the Bitcoin CME gap actually got filled yesterday and that is a very good thing, but Bitcoin doesn't really care, it just moves even more towards the downside. Now about a month ago or so, we were actually having a look into what's this similarity of this Bitcoin CME gap back right here and also right now and it perfectly played out like we have talked about. After this Bitcoin CME gap we pumped with about 22% and right here as well we have also pumped 22% exactly to that top. And also right here it took about 50 days until we actually filled our CME gap with a double top with also a bearish divergence and right here once again we had that double top, we had that bearish divergence and it also exactly took about 50 days to get our CME gap filled. So yeah once again Bitcoin history doesn't tend to repeat but it certainly rhymes. Once again here another example where we were actually having a look into what's one month ago or so. Now yes, I've been riding this whole trend towards the upside, I've basically been long throughout this whole trend towards the upside and I exactly flip bearish at the exact top. Now that we are in this correction, I will start accumulating again when we near that Bitcoin bottom. Of course, that depends on what the Bitcoin funding rates will be doing, but most people will again not follow me when I say I'm going to be accumulating. But that's alright, yeah, look, I'm here to make money, I'm not here to advise other people what to do i'm just sharing what i am personally personally doing so yeah if you follow me that's all right if you do not follow me that's also completely fine either way yes i do think we are due for a little bit more of a correction towards the downside i mean all of these signals that we've got in the market are huge signals that we should not be ignoring at all so yeah i've been saying it right here as well bitcoin first to 47k to about 50k and then we are going to be seeing a larger correction i've been warning you guys many many times on my youtube channel and if you are as well going to be interested in trading yourself well make sure to check out that first link in the description because you can quite literally claim a free 1000 US dollar trade on bybit literally all you need to do is create a new account deposit at least 100 dollars and you can be claiming a 1000 US dollar trade so in my opinion that is an absolutely insane deal which you can be claiming right now there are only about eight days left for you to be claiming this position and after these eight days well you cannot be claiming this position anymore so make sure to be quick to claim your position right now sit on it and use it whenever the market gives you an opportunity you can already claim it right now and use it later so that is absolutely fine make sure to be following me on twitter to stay up to date about every single market development and guys i'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning